here YouTube Elite Legionario here bringing you part three of the Rome 2 Total War Prologue campaign. Now if we remember when we left off we were going to attack Melventum. So anyway, this is a look at the army we've built up here. A couple of Principe, Triarii, four Equite, looks like we've got five Astarte, one Italian swordsman, two a Roman ballista and two levy slings. Uh, so we can do force march so anyway I was thinking perhaps I should wander off and get rid of this guy first so I might do that speak your mind this army has moved all it can okay it must rest for now okay I hadn't realized that I'd done that anyway what else do we need to do let's see some technology um, were we working on anything that I see? no I didn't see anything up let's do something agricultural I think. Right, what else do we need to do? Everything good in Rome. Don't really have a lot of money to work with here. Okay, da 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 da. No, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now let's have a look at Campania. Nope, that seems all pretty good. I don't think there's anything else I need to do or recruit. So. I don't think I. There's a possibility I could be attacked here in Salernum, so maybe what I'll do is I'll raise an army just to... I'll... No, I won't because I won't be able to put anything in this turn anyway. So, let's end the turn. What do the same knights do? Right, they seem to have just retreated back, probably to help on the defense of Malfentum. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Income is good. And we should probably build something to increase wealth. Oh, that's cheaper. Uh, we'll go with this one actually, it's probably more useful. Just increase income a bit. Right, let's begin the attack on Malfenton. Do not rush hastily into an attack, Commander. There exists the option to starve the enemy out. Um, I think I'll just attack, though. We could do that, but we've got numbers. We might as well take advantage. Plus, we get to use our ballistas. Let's see. Battle of Melvin Town. I am well. I am well, and so is the army. For all. for a week now, we have climbed through the farming country into the mountainous pastoral lands. The villages we find. Are already deserted. The natives have retreated. With their livestock supply is not a problem, however, and our baggage train carries a grain surplus, and our riders ensure the road back to Campania remains clear. We are coming upon Malventum and will be in sight of the town within a day. A hunting party from this ancient city has been contracted and put to flight. During little more than throwing missiles and assaults, the defenders know that we come. Right, so we've got nice dry weather, so that's cool. So let's start deployment. Right, no walls, so we just keep our guys until it's line of sight. Hmm, what, can I deploy my guys around here? Because this is high up here. I could deploy up here. I think it will, because it gives me a height, so I could just sit and bomb into the city, I think. I mean, taking from multiple angles has its uh, advantages, it's no doubt. But I think I will come up here. Let's check out ballistas, man, they're beautiful machines. Artillery's gonna be an interesting thing to use in this game. Right, what else do we wanna do? Ooh, a bit of lag there. Hopefully that goes. There's been a lot of complaints about lag with this game. Overall I've actually read a lot of complaints full stop to do with Rome too. And it's not exactly the start I'm sure they wanted for it, but I believe they'll fix it all. A lot of people are frustrated with the game, but I genuinely believe they'll likely fix it. So I'm not all that concerned, to be honest. It's a bit annoying. There's no no doubt about it, and it possibly should have been released perhaps a wee bit later. But nonetheless, um, I'm overall actually pretty happy, really. What I left? My Italian swordsman unit. I'll leave that there. So I want to go into two little sort of grouped areas here, but I might 
It will be intriguing to attack from another angle though, put some pressure on them. I could send my uh, Principe and Triarii and the Italian swordsman from the woods in here. Interesting thought. Are they hidden there or not? Don't think so. Interesting, I thought they might have been hidden. But apparently they're not. That was... That's strange, they're not hidden. They won't hide. Don't know why that is. So it's probably not a point putting them there then. Um, I mean, I'd like to attack from multiple angles. Um, I might just deploy over here then. Just over here. In the dark and hide here. Isn't that weird? That one's had way more cover, but for some reason I can hide in this one. And I'll put you guys back there. Let's just keep, make sure they can hide. Hide, hide, please hide. There we go, hidden. Right. I think that's satisfactory. And there's also there's some of these little black shadow things that happen. So there are a few issues with Rome too at this stage. But just remember she's nice and new here, so let's get the blister up. These men stand in your way. Show them no mercy. So let's try and distract the main army over here. Equites. And we'll use the equites to just screen. So we'll get some nice bombardments. These Roman ballista, which is going to be sweet. And just run up here. What sort of range do they have? Let's see. I'm not really sure what kind of range we're speaking of. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's pretty long. It looks like the arcs. They're well already within the arc of fire. So let's let's get explosive shot and let's target. Let's see what's the most valuable units I can see here. Italian spearmen, mob, and spearmen. Those are the spearmen. Let's just have these guys on the lip of the hill. And we'll get some nice shots in. Hopefully those ballistas can actually hit things. In the meantime, um, I don't really want to camp and ballista bombard them. It's not really my style, so... Let's send the Equites out here. And the Hastati down here. And we'll bring these dudes up. Might as well. Because they might have more in the six section here. Keep the general near the ballista just to and bring him in only when he's needed. Let's see what else is going on. Take some of these back units. Oh, we some nice ones. Let's get a good look. Do we get in the air? They're not particularly accurate, so I might just go back to regular shot, which is a bit boring, but never mind. Oh, look at that destructible. Sweet. Let's put let's put these guys on pressure. Listen to these dudes around to here. Where are you guys coming? You're walking, so leg it. And we'll bring our missile units. Let's get them in there. Alright, now we're seeing a bit of a problem on their part, and they're, they're not optimizing cavalry there. I'll leave this unit, leave this unit in reserve. The enemy commander is slain, General. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it's a spearman unit. I won't do that. And we'll send these two right around. You guys can come right up into here. 
Uh, let's just add a little bit more beef to that fight. Draco. And we'll spare my unit there, but be careful. Pull them out again. I think that Draco had the desired effect though. So we can get these other study around. Let's just keep them coming out. the Draco was fairly effective. Okay. I had a bit of trouble getting this guy to come out. So it's kind of... Victory! My son. Ah, look at that. We've got victory anyway, so it's all good. Oh, that was pretty straightforward. I thought we'd do a little more than that, but then... I thought it'd be a little more interesting than that, but never mind. So what got the most kills? Ah, uh, the cavalry, 76, 116. Oh no, they're starting 249 for one of the 132. One of the ballista got 70 kills though, so it must have got some nice hits. But overall that was a, pretty much a stomping. Great balls of fire. Oh, that's a dumb Top Gun reference if you've seen that movie. I watched it not that long ago actually. Um, didn't get very many kills that they get these guys, but their starty got tons. So, Gaius Silanus is proving to be quite a nuisance in the Samnite forces. Right in the neck. <laughs> I like that little animation thing, it's very cool. Right. This is Occupy. As our armies push further into the hills and mountains of Samnium, we would do well to reconnoitre the terrain ahead. You should consider recruiting a spy to gather information in enemy territory, Silanus. Very well. I like your thinking. Let's get a spy. Except we're broke, so we can't get one. Okay, so we've got another territory now, guys. It's looking good. And can we build that fleet yet? That's what I want to know. Apparently not. I don't know why. Ugh. I really don't know why that's doing that, eh? Because I want to get um, Buxentum down here. I'd like to slip around here and then cut the cut off the line of, you know, line of so have, there's nothing in my flank here, and then I can just pl basically just you know blast my way through into B Bavianum. So I don't know why I can't build a fleet there, guys. That's kind of annoying. It said something about not having enough territories, but I don't know. I don't know why it won't let me do that. That's really annoying. Oh, anyway, what else can we do this turn? Well, I won't spend any more money because I want to have enough of that agent, don't I? Anyway, what's the... They're, oh, they're not like really unhappy there in Malfentum, so... Uh, anyway, what else we got? I think things are looking pretty good for the most part. So anyway, let's end... Oh, no. I forgot about that. I love how it reminds you of that. It's something a good feature I like because I do often forget things sometimes. So let's uh, give Solanus some more tricks. So what's he got? Cunning and Warcrown. Oh, we better get his authority up, I suppose. There we go. Righty ho, now let's end the turn. Okay, see, that's going down to, um... Yours, you can make gains from us by allying with the Samnites. Their treachery will be their downfall. I will see it done. Right, so we're apparently at the war with the Gauls now. That was kind of expected. I can never trust a Gaul. Right. Okay, can I raise that fleet here? Yeah. Mm. I don't know why I can't raise a fleet. Damn, that's annoying. Because I really want to go and get um, Buxentum. Because that would be a really good addition. I don't know why I can't do that. I mean, I'm sure I have the right. I mean, I've got... I mean, this shit, this um, port can build... It can build Byrams with Astartes and stuff. So it should be able to build. I don't know why I can't. It's really stupid. 
Do I need to take or something that allows me to build it? I don't know, maybe I'll build this ship based technology and it might give me something. I don't know, so I'm, I want to build that because I don't want to basically have two, you know, go this way and have a whole lot of forces in my flank there, which would be really annoying. So we need to work that out, and that's right, we're building an agent, weren't we? So uh, it suggested an agent, so um, let's build one, because it might be an idea to spy on some of these places. Let's see. What's the one? Six plus campaign movement, military intelligence, negative 3% success chance. Okay, so let's see. Five plus light military intelligence. I'm just trying to think which would be most useful. Uh, probably this one. They all appear to be women, so it's kind of cool, because I, I guess they would make good agents, being that they can seduce men and things, I suppose. Um, in the meantime, blacksmith, I'm just trying to think what else I can build. Probably Capius. Yeah, well, that was Capio, wasn't it? I've got to stop doing that. Um, let's see, cohort barracks. First cohorts and Praetorians as well, but it's pretty expensive. In the meantime, I think I'll just end my turn again. Silanus, formal contact has been established with the Greeks who inhabit our southern shores. If treated with care, they may become useful allies in our struggle against the Samnites. Right, some Greeks allies. Right. The Senate requests that you negotiate a trade agreement with our new Greek friends. Alrighty ho, let's go in. Be welcome here and speak as you wish without fear of consequence or danger. Let's get. Whoop, that was an accident. My bad. Okay, let's go and get I the trade. I'm here to listen if you speak honestly. I accept. We have an agreement. And I'm sure I have some decent Cyprian wine around here somewhere. Yep, nothing like getting drunk after a good di diplomatic session. Splendid. Trade with the Greeks will bring income, new types of material resources, and will encourage them to favour our cause over that of our enemies. Sweet. Just, it's pretty basic stuff, guys, obviously, being a prologue tutorial. But it's still fun. I've got to, as I said in the previous videos, it's a really excellent prologue. Okay, I think that's all I really... That's still going through. Can't build my fleet yet. Which is irritating. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Now, there's not really anything else I can think I need to do. Probably should check on Rome. See what I can build. I don't really think I need any of this stuff. Just builds a bit more agricultural stuff. Increase the income. Always good to have plenty of income. Um, anyway, let's end the turn again. Okay, they're moving some naval stuff out. And now let's get our agent rolling. So, should we check these guys out? Well, this one out. Let's go check these guys out. Military sabotage. Poison brew, wreck the baggage train. Poison provisions to do that. Good. Oh crap, it didn't work. 63%, that's annoying. Right, um, that was kind of a waste, but oh well, whatever. Roman village, what else? Still no, still no naval recruitment, I'm assuming. No, it's an agent. No, I don't know what that's about. I really don't. I'm sure some of you probably already know. So if you do know, feel free to leave a comment in the page because I would like to know because I'd like to go get that Buxentum Vera naval method. Um, do I need to build up anything else? This is basically just strengthen the economy. I think uh, anything else here? Yeah, military buildings, what do we want? Manipular barracks or auxiliaries. It does unlock Equites, which gives us another place of recruitment for them, so let's do that. Probably won't need it, but anyway. Solanus. And Solanus' army's full. 
So, let's see. We've got a bit of a problem though in that if I attack one of these armies, one of these other ones will obviously attack me. So I'll leave him still as of now and see if one of them goes away. So, end the turn. Right. I still really want to build that fleet. I, I just don't know why. I can't. No, I'm, I'm probably missing something really basic here. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, it's really annoying. Right. Campaign here, what do we want to do? Shield maker. to add some problems to us. I don't really want squalor at the moment. Anything else worth building? I don't think so. Kapua. I guess better upgrades and stuff will do, so shield makers will do us fine. Probably don't need to spend that kind of money really. Realistically we probably don't need to, but... agent. Military sabotage. Do I try the poisons again? Intercept orders? I don't know. I'll cancel that. Cancel. What about this army? Maybe there's better chances. Wreck the baggage train. I guess we'll risk it. Probably fail there. Ah, oh, crap. I guess we'll just recruit another one. <laughs> Except we're broke, so we'll win the turn. Oh, no new technologies. Okay, so I'm assuming that didn't really affect... Uh, let's see, this is some trading. Right, I'm assuming that didn't affect this at all. Maybe I've got the wrong kind of wharf. I mean, ship, I would have thought a shipwright would have been fine, but... Right. Maybe I need to produce some sort of better wharf because I can't see I still can't get this fleet which I really want to get but I don't want to stall this attack any longer really what I might do instead is Ready for battle. recruit some units up here in Rome and bring this guy down from Rome because I don't think I'm going to have any more issues up there wait, wait for the moment and then I will bring it down to support Malvent and then I can go forward with Solana. So anyway, let's end our turn. So it looks like the Greeks are just sort of coming to and fro from Tarantum there, so... Nothing too much on their part yet, so let's get this army. I don't think it's going to be a big issue for Rome. Hopefully it won't be. If I have to, I can reduce the reduce the um, tax rates. It's, we're making pretty good money, so I don't think we're going to need too much more. Speak your mind. Right. Plus four wealth from industry. Wealth from it. seems like strange traits for an, uh, for a spy. I'll try this one. Right. We are still working on something. Treasury is looking pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe I should just go get Buxington <laughs> the other way and stop worrying about the fleet. I kind of wanted to do a, a um, sea landing because they are kind of fun. But I guess not, so we'll in turn again. Not really anything happening except for me just sort of building up. Ah, and it appears that... Ah, so it was only wounded the spy. Right, so let's just ignore any of these agents now. I've kind of been mucking around too much. And let's just keep walking around. Let's see what we can find. Right, and we'll 
we'll send this agent to be a, a regular pain to those other troops. Ready for orders. March. Right. Is that all? Okay, we can create some better stuff here, so let's get print a couple of Prinker Bays. And a couple, actually, I'll get one Prinker. We'll get two Equitas, I think, actually. Yeah, two Equitas this turn, because we've got to keep our keep in mind. Right, what else? What else? What else? Still can't do anything with this fleet. I, I don't know, I'm completely baffled by that. i got to stop worrying about it, though. Right, I don't really want to stall too much longer. So, I'll end another turn, and the Samnites have all pulled off to one side there. I wonder if I could coerce the Greek cities into, no, I'd probably, probably bugger something up if I did that, so I won't do that. Commander. So let's wait for this army to get over to, to what's my jig, um, Melventum. Destination reached. And I guess we could probably hire something, although I'm not sure what that means, that we, oh no, let's get a couple of Prinker pay, and that'll do us for that army, it's pretty decent. Solanus. Right, okay, let's just check out what's going on at, uh, at Lucera, let's sabotage something, let's see, poison the wells, I don't know, I mean, probably poisoning the wells is probably not a good thing, so it'll probably end up being a bad problem when I get there. So let's just move on to Bovianum, because it looks like a pretty impressive city at this stage. Okie dokie, I think that's pretty much all I really want to do, and something's not, not technology. So it's a great thing that's there to remind you, because people like me forget about it all the bloody time. <laughs> let's see, okie dokie, I think we should go for something military this time. What? Let's try that one. And that will that turn. Probably not being very decisive here, but I just don't want to let my um don't want to put my own gains in danger, so wait for this. Journey completed. I don't know why I keep looking at this. I, I really I mean it said something about needing more um fleets or some uh, more cities for them or something so I don't know right let's, let's just need another turn oh there's my spy I forgot about that I've got my spies okay let's check Bovianum I'll try an arson attack to destroy some of their buildings Hopefully that dam will succeed and wounded. My agent success is limited. Probably should have just gone with poisoning. Right. Okay. Let's get you up here. At last. Let's just go get Bovianum the long and haul, haul on foot style. And let's just move you into there. Right, so next turn we should have a nice field battle going on out here. In the province of... Of Samnium, basically. So, I uh, don't think there's anything else. And here's battle. Right, so we've got three decent armies against us, I guess. See you on the battlefield. So the arrows are Artemi and the thunderbolts are Tinia. Cool names. So um, I can set up a good defensive situation here with these artillery pieces. But I don't want to be too static. It's not really my style, but I don't want to waste them either because they did cost. And they will be useful for sieging. I probably should have left them behind actually, but my mind didn't think of it at the time, so we'll have to go with what we've got. Let's see, the terrain is fairly good, I feel. You should know that the terrain is quite really quite excellent actually. Right, where do we want to put our artillery first? We could slip it. No, probably don't want to put it in the woods right there. Put it just on the edge of the woods. And we'll put our troops just behind it. Like so. Let's 
Okay, let's put two of our cav just here to support the army and put the other two tuck them out over here somewhere see if I can pull a nice little neat spring up trap or something later on what have I forgotten so let's get the uh, triarii and the Principe and the Italian swordsman we'll put them in here as a sort of like a reserve as a strong reserve with Solanus up here with the troops I think that's pretty good I'm pretty satisfied let's go where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. Soldiers, another chance to win glory against our enemy beckons. Raise a cheer, men. That's weird. Yeah. Now, the range is yes, yeah, so they're almost in range already. Because say so the range is pretty impressive. Let's see, Italian cavalry. Right. Let's go to explosive round because I think it's just cooler. Spearmen, mostly like their peer, their main infantry just is mostly spearmen. And I, I guess it gets the feeling that it's just not a match for for um, a study, let alone Principatria. So here's the bombardment. Bang! Some nice clean shots there. Look at that. That was pretty brutal. Oh, look, brutal. Only took one guy out though. Damn. Right. And this other army's over here though, coming to support. Let's just keep them under bombardment for now. So I'm going to use these guys to spring around behind them, I think. I'll use it like that, like so. Caused a bit of disruption in their line, so we get that, out that guys there. And let's make a push down on them right now. No mercy. get the Triarii, the Principe, and slip out onto the flank with the Italian Swordsman, which I keep forgetting. And what's going on in this army? I wonder if I could run a bit of interference in my cave there. And we'll halt these dudes fire, I don't want them hitting anything of my own. And oh, he gets a good cave charge on me there. It's a bit of a nuisance. Right, and all my units need to be running. Ah. And I lost track of my cav. Silly me. Let's see how's that going. Pretty decent so far. Let's bring these cav around to do a flank. Oh, bit of lag there. There's a few wee lag problems, definitely, but it's not too shabby. I'm not too concerned. Draco. I like that Draco, it's a really awesome ability. And into their flank. And ignore it. I didn't even engage him, let's put him in. Right, let's get these dudes, turn them to face them. Doing a nice job, let's just keep running stuff down. Their infantry is pretty much cleaning, it, cleaning theirs out. Let's move you guys down to here. Right, bring these dudes out now. Perhaps put the ballista on some fire again. On those noble infantry, they might be a bit tricky. Let's get... Let's get him. Let's rush these dudes forward. There's quite a lot of guys there. Get the missiles, trying to micro all this. Unfortunately, my enemy's not all that difficult to defeat. Oops. Ah, can't click. Get these guys behind lines. Oh, I'm just taking unnecessary losses here. My Principe and Triaria should have absolutely no trouble. Now let's halt these guys again. I don't want them doing unnecessary damage. What are those slings? Um, 
Ah, uh, that's general, that's why that's fighting so hard. Right, let's get Solanus up. Do some rallies, so we can. What are they? A mob. I haven't fully engaged his line here, so I don't want... Well, we can probably do one Draco here. Into the back of his men there. Let's get these guys going. Only into the back of those ones that are engaged, though. And... Let's pull out again. Let's whack some of those Louis slings. And I think our... Yep, our Stardy is free. Let's get uh, Sightlinus up to do a bit of... Let's pull these dudes out now. Solanus up to do a bit of rally. What's he got? Oh, Intimidate. Let's see what's he got. The Fear. Seek him. He's got quite a few abilities, eh? Oh, is he going to move? There we go. Noble Infantry. Warcry. And let's use... Battle Rhythm. I don't know what all this does, but... Draco again. It's a really useful ability. Oh, let's get Solanus out of there. Don't want him that close. Oh, get these guys around. Try and circle them here. Might crew management isn't exactly brilliant here. Right, let's just try and close in the circlement on them. Let's get Sylvanas up again. Let's just keep trackoing everyone. Any more armies coming in or anything? Nope. I think we've done a pretty nice job here. Victory! Oh, nice one. You are the toast of Rome! Well, our Prinkipes and stuff took a pretty big beating. Oh, but they dished out quite a bit of damage. Probably lost more than I would have liked to there, but nonetheless, it was pretty decent, I felt. Let's see. I did lose 900 men, which is quite a lot, but I did place an extra 1,200. And some of their troops weren't, were no slouches, I guess. But again, uh, I'm noticing the cavalry are extremely effective. Look at these cavs, 300, 200, 300 kills there. So very effective. And it doesn't take long to actually replenish your numbers. One thing I noted in Shogun, it sometimes took ages to get your numbers to replenish. But this is pretty quick, which I like. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So let's enslave them. forces them back quite a bit. Nice. So let's, um, no doubt Solanus has got some tricks, or the army's got some tricks this time. Let's see, what do we want? 3% to melee damage. Uh, yeah, definitely, I think that Xella's Siege and Missiles, and we use the melee the most by far. So that's best, definitely the most um, useful. This this seen this way with this uh, spy down to Buxentum, seeing as we're not going to get there with the fleet for some reason. So how how much are we timing with that retraining? I don't know retiming. See, look, look at all this. They're only some of these guys are down like they lost like 70 men, and they're only going to take like one turn or two turns to replenish whereas if you did that in like Shogun it was like four or five so I really like that it's it just it allows you to keep up momentum much quicker which I much prefer so um, let's quickly just sweep into the woods here and get rid of this unit we cannot do that that's just auto resolve I'll just go balance wow it fought me off for some reason just a slave because it all helps the economy. Oh, right in the nads! <laughs> right in the plums! How amusing. I kicked him. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a great way to deal with your enemies. 
Can I catch this guy? No, I can't, bugger. Right. Anyway, I'll probably end this soon because I've been going for a while here. Right, let's build a dock. I don't know, just see if we can actually get anywhere with this. What a crock. There's probably not much point now anyway because I'll have bucks in him in a moment. But anyway, um, and then we can get on to the other two. Right, right, what else is there? Armourer. Um, let's build up some more forces actually here. Just to because we'll go all out on the assault, so we can get some socky, study, some regular study. What's better? Regulars, definitely regulars. Um, and we can get some auxiliaries. Got more dogs. Don't really know how effective they'll be. So let's just recruit three of those there. And technology is something we can on tech. Let's do something civic this time. Double cropping, that sounds fun. Right, in the turn. And I believe, guys, I will end this here. So we have just we've taken more ventum in this run, and we've destroyed some couple of large uh, Sam Knight armies here. And we're moving in on Buxentum, and then we'll prepare to go into uh, Lucera and Bavanium or Bavianum. So anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed part three of the prologue campaign for Rome 2. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll bring you part four as soon as possible. So I'll see you then.